Oh my god, you guys, I am so excited to do this video because I have been looking for this very specific flower, flower for like two months now and I finally found it. What I've been looking for are these flowers. They're so pretty, if you guys can see it closely. So these are called um, balsam flower, balsam impatience. And the reason I've been looking for these flowers is um, I wanted to share something from my childhood that I used to do. When I lived in Korea and I used to visit my grandma at the farm, and early summertime, my grandma and I, we would collect these flowers and she would sit down, grind them down, and then place them on my fingertips. And what it would do, it was it would dye my fingernails to this beautiful reddish orange color. So it's kind of like a natural way to do your manicure. Also, it's very nostalgic for me because I really love spending time with my grandma. Um, so this is gonna be a very nostalgic moment for me. It's something probably different. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do something like this here in America. So, yay. <laughs> But before I start, oh, I have to tell you the struggle of bringing these flowers to my home today. So basically, um, I was doing my morning walk with my dog Oreo and um, he already pooped. So I threw um, my doggy poop bag away. Luckily, I brought two doggy poop. So here we are walking and we decided to take a walk in a route that we usually don't take and went to this one street and as we're walking by, all of a sudden I, I just saw them. I'm like, oh my God. So here's me and my dog. I'm just crouching down, picking all these flowers and I'm thinking, okay, I had this little doggy poop bag. This is perfect for us. I'm just stuffing it into my clean doggy poop bag like some <laughs> crazy lady, you know, and it wasn't in somebody's garden. I mean, I guess it is kind of like somebody's garden, but it's the, the sidewalk. Uh, it wasn't the sidewalk that someone took their time to plant these. But I mean, there were like abundance of it, just just street full of it. I was so excited. and. And I hope they don't mind whoever the gardener was. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for planting this. I haven't seen these flowers anywhere in the neighborhood. So thank you. Anyways, um, so I got a handful of them, put it in my bag. And we're, we're literally like, I don't know, a block away from home. And my dog dropped another deuces. Fuck. So I was like thinking, well, maybe I could just run for it. Like at this point, these flowers are like my gold pot. Like I am willing to sacrifice and just run as fast as I can. I hope that no one saw it that I didn't pick up the dog poop and just get home. But I didn't, I did pick up the dog poop. I didn't want to be that person. I really don't like it when people don't clean after their dogs and just leave their dog. And I get that sometimes, like you may run out of bag and you had to do what you had to do. Um, but I just didn't want to be that person. So <clears throat> luckily there was a, a piece of like, like a paper on the side. And then, so, <laughs> so I was on the street doing an origami, making into this origami cup. So that way I can place this flowers into the cup and use a doggy poop bag to pick up my dog poop for the second time. And it was so awkward because like I had to put the dog leash like wrapped around my wrist so that I can hold the cup like top up like this so that the wind doesn't blow away my flower petal. And my other hand, I had the doggy poop bag and just walking awkwardly trying to throw, find the trash can to throw the doggy poop, the poop away. But yeah, it was a struggle getting home because <laughs> my dog saw a rabbit and then a squirrel and he's just like pulling my arm and I was like, no, <laughs> the adventure. But the flowers are here at home. 
So these are the flowers that I picked. And you pick the colors that you like. I, I, they were so pretty. I picked like pink one, this little peachy orange color, beautiful hot pink color. And most importantly, you gotta pick some, some leaves too. You gotta get these leaves. Oops, dropped one. The leaves. Um, when I was little and doing this with my grandma, I would only pick the flowers and she would tell me, you need the leaves as well in order for the dye to be successful. Now, I don't know if that's true. I never done it without the leaves to see if one is better than another. But I wanna make sure this is successful. So I'm gonna follow my grandma's instruction. Thank you, grandma. And I got the leaves too. We are going to dye my nails today. Yay. Okay, so the first thing first you need is um, you need a rectangle plastic strips, 10 of them for 10 fingers. So you can just find, I'm sure you guys have any kind of plastic band hanging around. If not, you can use saran wrap. It doesn't have to be super long, but you do want it somewhat long so that way once you wrap it like this, you have um, ends. Once they wrap it on like this, you have two ends to like, oops, to like wrap it around your finger like so. This is gonna be really hard because usually my grandma does it for me. I never done this on my own. So I'm not sure how well I'll do. The second thing is you need to grind these down using mortar and pestle. I don't, I mean, I have a mortar and pestle. I don't know where it is. Like I said from my previous video, I've moved into this place. I'm still unpacking a couple of boxes. Um, so I'm going to do a MacGyver move here today. And I'm just going to use a ceramic dish and um, slightly, slowly pound these down using a back of the spoon. I have this Asian spoon. It tends to be uh, hard, like harder, more rounded, so it's just easier for me to get in, so. smells very pleasant by the way okay. so put on one finger name do, do, do. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between Korean balsam flower and the balsam flower that I picked here today. Um, it looked exactly same to me, but I don't know if being that's a different climate, it makes, if it would make, uh, I don't know, if it's gonna not work, but I hope it works. All right. One done. Nine to go. Some the sun is shining. Someday I love again. On something not to far away. Oh. 
Okay, I have no idea how I'm going to do my right hand because I am not left-handed, but well, this is going to be fun. Look at the sky, we don't need a plane Close your eyes on the freeway You know what would be really easy, actually? If you guys have like a twist tie like this. Yeah, twist tie <laughs> is probably a better idea if you are doing this by your side like me. Hold my hand, please stay. Okay, it's done. Um, yeah, I don't really remember how long you're supposed to set it in for. Maybe I'm gonna leave it in for an hour. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so it's been about an hour and yeah, <laughs> my nail got really orange. Um, some of the, the skin um, got dyed too. But that's just gonna wash out in like a day or two. But as for nails go, it will stay uh, until it grows out. So yeah, there it is. Um, I think next time uh, when I pick flowers, maybe I'm gonna pick more of the um, hot pink color instead of the peachy orange one to see if that makes a different color. But ta-da, not bad. If you guys find balsam flowers, I hope you guys try it out.